zero-carb diets are gaining popularity. More and more people are turning to these diets in hopes of achieving rapid weight loss and improved health. But what exactly are zero-carb diets and why are they becoming such a trend? But what exactly do they entail? Zero-carb diets, as the name suggests, involve eliminating almost all carbohydrates from your daily intake. This means cutting out foods that are typically high in carbs, such as bread, pasta, rice, and even fruits and many vegetables. These diets drastically restrict carbohydrates, focusing almost entirely on foods like meat, fish, poultry, and some high-fat dairy. You can still enjoy a variety of delicious meals, but your options are limited to those that are low in carbs. This means saying goodbye to bread, pasta, rice, fruits, and even many vegetables. For many, this can be a significant lifestyle change, requiring a complete overhaul of their eating habits and preferences. The goal is to force your body into a metabolic state called ketosis. Ketosis occurs when your body doesn't have enough carbohydrates to burn for energy, so it starts burning fat instead. This process can lead to rapid weight loss, which is one of the main reasons people are drawn to zero-carb diets. In ketosis, your body starts burning fat for fuel instead of carbohydrates. This can be particularly beneficial for those looking to lose weight quickly. However, it's important to note that maintaining ketosis requires strict adherence to the diet, and even a small amount of carbs can disrupt the process. While this might sound appealing for weight loss, the long-term effects of such a restrictive diet are still being studied. Some experts caution that eliminating entire food groups can lead to nutritional deficiencies and other health issues. It's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any extreme diet to ensure it's safe and suitable for your individual needs. Ultimately, the best diet is one that is balanced and sustainable in the long term. While zero-carb diets may offer quick results, they may not be the best choice for everyone. Consider your health goals, lifestyle, and preferences when choosing a diet plan, and remember that moderation and variety are key to a healthy, happy life. The popularity of zero-carb diets is undeniable. In recent years, these diets have surged in popularity, capturing the attention of many who are eager to shed pounds quickly and improve their overall health. The allure of cutting out carbohydrates entirely is strong, especially when faced with the promise of rapid weight loss and other health benefits. People are drawn to the promise of rapid weight loss and improved health markers, such as lower blood sugar levels. For those struggling with conditions like diabetes, the idea of managing blood sugar through diet alone is particularly appealing. The visible transformations, often showcased in dramatic before and after photos, serve as powerful testimonials to the diet's effectiveness. The diet's restrictive nature can lead to quick, visible results, which is a powerful motivator for many. The immediate feedback of fitting into smaller clothes or seeing a reduced waistline can be incredibly satisfying. This tangible progress keeps individuals motivated to stick with the diet, despite its challenges. Moreover, the rise of social media has created echo chambers where success stories, often anecdotal, are amplified. Influencers and everyday users alike share their journeys creating a sense of community and support. These platforms are filled with tips, recipes, and motivational stories that make the zero-carb lifestyle seem not only achievable, but also desirable. This can create a distorted perception of the diet's effectiveness and safety. While success stories are inspiring, they often overshadow the potential risks and challenges associated with such a restrictive diet. It's easy to get caught up in the hype without fully understanding the implications for one's health, while these stories can be inspiring, it's crucial to remember that individual experiences can vary greatly. What works for one person may not work for another, and it's important to approach any diet with a critical eye. Consulting with healthcare professionals and considering personal health needs and goals are essential steps before embarking on a zero-carb journey. The allure of zero-carb diets is strong, but informed decisions are key to long-term success and well-being. Numerous studies show that zero-carb diets can lead to significant short-term weight loss. This is primarily due to the elimination of entire food groups, leading to a calorie deficit. When you consume fewer calories than you burn, you lose weight. However, it's important to note that this weight loss is often attributed to water loss in the initial stages. As the body depletes its glycogen stores, it releases water, leading to a quick drop in weight that might not reflect actual fat loss. Zero-carb diets have shown promise in improving markers of metabolic health, particularly in individuals with type 2 diabetes. By reducing carbohydrate intake, blood sugar levels tend to stabilize, and insulin sensitivity may improve. Some studies suggest that this way of eating can even reverse type 2 diabetes in some cases.
However, more research is needed to confirm these findings and determine the long-term sustainability and potential side effects of such a restrictive approach. Heart health, a mixed bag. The impact of zero-carb diets on heart health is complex and not fully understood. On the one hand, reducing carbohydrates can lead to lower triglyceride levels and increased HDL, or good cholesterol, which are positive markers for heart health. On the other hand, the high intake of saturated fat from animal products, a hallmark of many zero-carb diets, raises concerns. Saturated fat can increase LDL, or bad cholesterol, potentially increasing the risk of heart disease. The nutrient gap, a cause for concern. One of the most significant drawbacks of zero-carb diets is the risk of nutrient deficiencies. By eliminating entire food groups like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, you miss out on essential vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Fiber, for instance, is crucial for digestive health, blood sugar control, and even heart health. Long-term fiber deficiency can lead to digestive issues, constipation, and an increased risk of certain cancers. Long-term sustainability. Can you stick with it? The restrictive nature of zero-carb diets makes them challenging to maintain over the long term. The lack of variety can lead to food boredom, cravings, and social isolation, ultimately leading to diet abandonment and potential weight regain. Furthermore, constantly restricting entire food groups can create an unhealthy relationship with food, potentially triggering disordered eating patterns. It's crucial to adopt a sustainable approach to eating that nourishes your body and mind without deprivation. Zero Carb versus Low Carb Finding the Right Balance Instead of going to the extreme of zero carbs, consider a more moderate approach like a low-carb diet. This allows for a wider variety of foods including nutrient-rich fruits, vegetables, and whole grains in moderation. This balanced approach provides the benefits of carbohydrate restriction, such as weight loss and blood sugar control, without the risks of nutrient deficiencies and extreme deprivation associated with zero-carb diets. Expert Opinions Weighing the Evidence In this section, we delve into the insights provided by leading health professionals and medical experts who have dedicated their careers to understanding the complexities of diet and nutrition. While zero-carb diets can lead to rapid weight loss, they are not a sustainable or healthy long-term solution for most people, says Dr. Sarah Holberg, a physician specializing in obesity medicine. Dr. Holberg emphasizes that although the initial results can be impressive, the long-term effects on overall health can be detrimental. She points out that the body needs a balanced intake of nutrients to function optimally and completely cutting out carbohydrates can lead to serious health issues. The risks of nutrient deficiencies and potential negative impacts on heart health are significant concerns. Dr. Holberg warns that a lack of essential vitamins and minerals can weaken the immune system, reduce energy levels, and increase the risk of chronic diseases. Additionally, she notes that extreme dietary restrictions can lead to unhealthy eating patterns and a negative relationship with food. Registered dietitian Carolyn Williams adds that a more balanced approach to eating is not only more sustainable but also more beneficial for long-term health. She stresses the importance of variety and moderation in our diets. Instead of eliminating entire food groups, focus on incorporating whole, unprocessed foods into your diet. Williams suggests that by choosing foods in their most natural state, we can ensure we are getting the full spectrum of nutrients our bodies need. This approach helps in maintaining a healthy weight and supports overall well-being. This includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Williams highlights that a colorful plate is often a sign of a nutritious meal. By including a variety of food groups, we can enjoy a more satisfying and healthful diet. She encourages people to experiment with different recipes and cooking methods to make healthy eating enjoyable and sustainable. Before you go zero, a doctor's advice. Before making any drastic dietary changes, it's crucial to consult with your doctor or a registered dietitian. They can assess your individual health status, needs and goals, and guide you toward a safe and effective eating plan. Remember, there's no one size fits all approach to nutrition. What works for one person might not work for another. It's about finding a sustainable way of eating that nourishes your body, supports your overall health, and brings you joy. Join the conversation. Have you tried a zero-carb diet? What was your experience? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's start a conversation about healthy and sustainable approaches to eating.